Hello, I'm Don Ransberg, and this segment is called System Software. System Software has two major components, the operating system, called the OS, and system utilities. The OS coordinates the various functions of the computer's hardware and provides support for running application software. System utilities provide such features as backup, defragmenting, and the file compression. An operating system acts as an interference between the user and the computer's hardware. Its five basic functions are starting the computer, managing applications, managing memory, coordinating tasks, and providing a means of communicating with the user. A computer needs an operating system to coordinate the interaction of hardware components with each other as well as with application software. When you start or restart a computer, it reloads the operating system into the computer's memory. A computer goes through six steps at startup. Loading the BIOS, performing the power on self-test, loading the operating system or OS, configuring the system, loading system utilities, and authenticating users. The three major types of user interfaces are graphical user interfaces, or GUIs, menu-driven user interfaces, and command line user interfaces. Most users prefer to use graphical user interfaces, which makes use of small images called icons to identify linked programs. The next most popular type of interface is the menu-driven interface, in which you open programs and select options by clicking on a selection in an on-screen menu. Command line interfaces are hardly ever used anymore because they require the memorization of keywords and punctuation that must be typed on a text line. Such commands are executed when you press the Enter key. Operating systems can be placed in three categories, standalone, server, and embedded. A standalone system does not need to be connected to any other system or computer in order to run. A server system, on the other hand, is designed to work in a network with other units and peripherals. Embedded operating systems are not designed for general purposes, but for the specific conditions and actions of the device that they are embedded within. The major strength of Windows is that it has dominated the market for more than 15 years and is installed and maintained on more than 90% of the personal computers in the world. The major strength of OS X is that it has been modified and upgraded for more than 20 years and is the most stable graphical OS. The biggest weakness of Windows is that Microsoft continues to bring new versions to the market before all the bugs and security holes have been resolved. The main disadvantage of OS X is that it is used on only approximately 8% of the computers in the world and thus does not support as many applications as Windows does. Essential system utilities include backup software, antivirus software, a file manager, search tools, file compression utilities, disk scanning programs, disk defragmentation programs, and access utilities for those with special needs. Additionally, features like Windows Update keeps your OS up to date and fixes or service patches or protections against its external environment changes. These features are also available for a Mac in the Mac OS X toolbox or utilities folder. An incremental backup creates a duplicate copy of files that have changed or have been created since the last backup. A full backup duplicates all of the files and data on a hard disk. Each individual or business needs to set a schedule for the time and type of backup performed. This can be automated through such utilities as Windows Update. Be aware of problems with your system and attempt to troubleshoot them at the onset. Make use of such features as help and support, safe mode, and the action center to help correct the problem.